Hello, friends. Welcome to Martha Reed's Story Time. I am Miss Martha, and I am so delighted that you are joining me for another outstanding winning story. Today's winning story is titled Bubble Trouble. This story was written by a second grader named Kennedy who attended Nasman Parkway Elementary School in Suffolk, Virginia. Let's put on our good listening ears. Click, click, so that we can find out about this bubble trouble. Alina and Ashley were like toast and jam. They were always together. The school bell rang, and Alina and Ashley started their walk home. Down the sidewalk, the girls were walking and talking when all of a sudden, Ashley stepped on a piece of gum. Oh! Ashley yelled like somebody stepped on her pinky toe. Gum! I got gum on my new shoe! I wish I was chewing gum instead of stepping in it. Alina said, well, you know, there's not even enough gum to blow bubbles. I know, grumbled Ashley. The town is going through bubble trouble. I wish we could save the town from bubble trouble, said Alina. Just when Ashley was about to pick the gum off her shoe, the wind blew hard and the ground shook. The girls grabbed each other and shut their eyes tight. Scared, shaking, and shivering, Alina and Ashley stood frozen as popsicles. The wind and the shaking stopped. The girls opened their eyes. They were now standing in the middle of a forest of trees. Where are we? asked Alina. Ashley answered, when I stepped on the gum, we must have gone through a portal to this forest. The girls looked around and saw sap squirting from the trees. Alina stuck her finger in the sticky goo and asked, What is this? Ashley replied, Sap. Alina looked confused. Why would we be in the middle of a forest with trees squirting sap? The girls looked at each other and shouted, Bubble Trouble! Elena shared her idea with Ashley. She said, well, since some gum is made from tree sap, let's take some sap from the trees and send to the bubble gum factory. So the girls begin to fill their backpacks. At that moment, magic dust swirled in the air and a bubblegum fairy appeared. The fairy thanked the girls for helping collect the sap to make more bubblegum. And with a wave of her wand, the fairy sent the girls back home. When the girls got back home, 
They were delighted when they opened their backpacks to see them filled with bubble gum. The girls looked at each other and yelled, no more bubble trouble. The end. Wow, what a fun, creative story about bubble gum. Now, I have a question to ask you. Hmm. Now, when the girl said that some gum is made from tree sap, is that statement a fact, which means that it is true? Or is it fiction, which means that it is not true? Okay, is it fact or fiction? Well, if you said that it is a fact, give yourself two thumbs up. You are absolutely correct. Some gum make some gum makers make organic gum from sap from a tree called the sapodilla tree. Now, I like gum, but I don't chew it all the time. I even have a gumball machine. Now, sometimes I put other things in here, like you know, candy and stuff like that, but. This is a gumball machine. And I don't chew a lot of gum like I used to because I don't want to wear down my teeth. But I will tell you, if you do chew gum, you make sure you brush your teeth after you chew that gum because we want to keep our teeth nice and healthy, okay? Well, friends, that's all I have for you today. But before I go, I have to remind you to practice, practice, practice your reading every single day to exercise your brain because I want you to be the best reader that you can be. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope that I'll see you the next time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye.